Hello everyone, it's your amigo Nico from Cliff Jones RV over here in Sealy, Texas. Want to make this video because I'm super excited to show you the 2021 Forest River Cherokee Gray Wolf 26 DBH. I've had more customers get happily involved with this model versus any other that we have in stock. It's super affordable and the 2021 adds a couple of key features that the uh, previous models did not have. So right off the bat, we're running off of the built-in juice pack that is included on this model. So it's a 50 watt panel on top of the roof and it has a built-in battery from the factory. You have a kill switch here on the left. So if you wanna operate it, all you have to do is turn that switch and it's in the on position now. You also have a voltage meter, we're at 12.1. So with that, you can run all of your 12 volt systems, all of the LED lights that are on right now. You can move the slide in and out. You can also operate the awning and the main power jack uh, for the tongue. Also, uh, you can operate the radio as well as the 10 cubic foot all electric refrigerator that we have here. So it's actually on right now, just on solar power, and it cools down much faster versus conventional ammonia drip refrigerators. So here we have the main entrance. You have the entertainment center. You can fit a 32, maybe a 39 inch TV there. Great thing about the Cherokees is that you do have an HDMI in on the radio. So you can add a gaming console, DVD player, laptop, whatever you want, and it will play through up here. It also has a built-in antenna on board for all the local channels. So if the green light is on, your booster's on, all you have to do is press that off, and you can use the built-in cable connection that's on the outside. This radio is multifunction, AM, FM, Bluetooth, uh, USB input, and you can play music just inside, just outside, or both. You have storage here, storage underneath, and a fireplace that actually works. So of course this unit does have a propane furnace, but if you want to save on propane on those rare occasions we need one here in Texas, what you can do is set your thermostat to a low setting for the furnace and then have the uh, electric fireplace on so you can save on propane costs. Or you can also during the summer, if you just want to add some ambiance, turn the heat off and have the three different color selections for the light show. Here we have a uh, jackknife couch here. So all I have to do if you want to convert it is lift from the bottom and it drops right down. You do have a little bit of storage underneath. Bringing it back, it's pretty easy with one hand. We also have the zebra blinds everybody absolutely loves. They're very different. This is a Cherokee exclusive for the remainder of the year. So you can let just a little bit of light in or black it out as we had before. On the slide, you also have the U-shaped dinette. You have plenty of room for the whole family to sit here, play a card game, enjoy a meal, whatever you'd like. And it also converts into a bed. In addition to this, you have storage all the way back on both sides. So storage is not a problem on this model. Here we have some curtains. If you want to take a nap during the day, you have two teddy bear uh, double bunks here. They're super comfortable. You also have a window on top. You have power connections there and USB chargers to keep your devices charged and on the go. Underneath, we have a window that does uh, open for cross ventilation. You do have a shade there as well, as you see, and you have an LED light that you can turn off and on just like that, as well as another set of USB chargers. Now, it's kind of funny, but a lot of bunk houses don't come with ladders. However, this one does, so it makes it easier to get to the top bunk. You do have a thermostat setting here. It's only about 7.30 right now, but it's already 81 here in Texas. We do have uh, power connections here. Now, a great thing about the bathroom, you'll notice when I open the door, is that the lights come on automatically. It actually has a motion sensor here, so you don't have to fumble with light switches uh, early in the morning or late at night. You have a medicine cabinet with plenty of storage, grounded power connections for a blow dryer trimmer, whatever you need. Here we have the sink, storage underneath. Another great thing about the Grey Wolves is that we do have a tub surround on our shower. So now the panels that are here are moisture resistant, but I would much rather have this paneling here to protect my investment uh, rather than just the panel board. So I'm an average size guy, right about six feet tall, still have a really great amount of headroom in here uh, in this model. Here I'll show you the rest of the bathroom. You have plenty of room to uh, take care of business and change clothes, whatever you need to do. You also have a secondary entrance. So if you're on the beach, you can come right in. You don't have to drag sand all throughout the camper. Makes cleanup nice and easy. We also have an exhaust fan here. It's got a couple of different speeds. If you want to unlock, all you have to do is pull down and lift up. And this thing is very powerful. So if you have a window open and you have the fan on, you'll get a really great cross ventilation here. And of course, uh, both doors do have screen doors, so you can really get additional cross ventilation. Uh, if you would like to make a small investment in a max air guard, what you can do is add one on top of here and have a window open while you're going down the road. Your RV will be about 10 to 20 degrees cooler versus not having it. So your unit will cool down much faster. 
Speaking of being cool, ours does have the Coleman ACs now. Uh, they have been switching these over. This brand is preferred versus others. Uh, very reliable and they have a great warranty as well. Speaking of which, this is a 15,000 BTU ducted AC. So here we see we have ducts throughout. You can rotate these uh, to whatever direction you want. So if you got the kiddo sleeping up here, it'll go straight down. Also, you do have these sliders here uh, to give you additional control. So if you have this open, this is a quick dump. If you keep it closed, this will circulate the air more evenly throughout your coach. Here we have the pantry. Really great size pantry. It does have a lip here to uh, prevent canned goods from flying around. Of course, we showed the refrigerator. We do have a residential power microwave. It'll very quickly and evenly heat food. Our range hood actually works. It will vent outside. A very nice backsplash here. We also have the stove and oven. So great thing about ours, we have a glass insert to give you additional counter space. The rear two are for simmering and the front one's for boiling. Moving to the oven, very important feature here. Now this is not a HAL 9000, but it will ignite itself uh, with this knob here. That way you don't have to manually bend down and light it. We do have overhead storage here. And another nifty thing that we have is tucked away right in here. And I'm glad that they moved this location. It's still a new feature, but if you go to store.lci1.com, this is ready for a 4G hotspot. You have a couple of different options. This is a new feature, but if you visit that link, it'll give you additional information. But basically what this is, is a dock. So if you would like to purchase a 4G uh, connection and then also a data subscription, you can have a 4G hotspot wherever you go. A lot of RVs say that they're ready for Wi-Fi, but in the majority of the time, what that is is just a range booster. So you're, you're connecting to an existing, uh, pre-existing Wi-Fi connection and then having your own personal router and um, just expanding the signal. But with that, you can actually get a 4G hotspot uh, to get internet wherever you are as long as you have data. We also have a uh, sunlight here. So what you have to do is pull this back to let additional light in for those people who love uh, natural light. Coming over here to the control panel, great thing about ours is that this is a smart panel. So what you can do is uh, if you download the app, you can link this to your phone using these credentials and control some of your RV from this. Now, of course, in terms of the traditional panel, if you press battery, it shows you from left to right how full it is. Also the fresh tank. Uh, if you want to go off the grid, you can fill that tank and take water with you uh, and use the built-in pump to circulate the water. Also the black tank for the toilet, gray tank here for the sink and the shower, uh, water pump, water heater, ours is propane and electric. The main lights, you can turn them off and on like that. Uh, the slide light, turn that off and on there. The uh, light for the uh, LED outside that I'll show you later. Also the awning light, control for the slide, as well as the awning. Moving to the sink, great thing about ours, it's a undermount one piece stainless steel. Of course, nowadays sanitation is more important now than ever. I really hate seeing uh, plastic sinks in RVs, especially in the kitchen. It's a pet peeve of mine, so of course ours is black stainless, very nice. It also has a, a residential high rise faucet as well. And moving to the master, we have sliding doors here for space efficiency. Here we have a camper queen bed, two LED lights you can turn off and on individually overhead storage, a ward here on this side, and same on the other. Great thing about ours is that you do have USBs on both sides as well as traditional plugs to keep whatever you need charged. Uh, we also have a little nightstand here for food and drinks. You can mount a TV in here as well if you would like. Uh, the connections just come down here from the main TV that is available if you'd like to do that. We also do have storage underneath the bed. So storage is no problem on this model. And here we are outside. I'm gonna go ahead and pop open the awning a little bit. So I have this unit right next door so I can't open it all the way, but give you a little idea. Coming outside, ours has a friction hinge door, so it will hold itself open up to a certain point. It's not gonna slap you in the face as other models tend to do. Uh, here we have a screen door. I can figure out how to open this thing. There we go. And you do also have uh, this here to keep bugs out. Definitely don't want that when the mosquitoes start coming. We also have upgraded steps. These are the more ride step above. People absolutely love these. They're like steps you find on a fifth wheel. The feet are adjustable, so there's no give. They're totally sturdy. Much better versus older style door, or excuse me, steps. We have a three position handle here. Great thing about ours, 
Some campers have just a tiny little plastic handle. This is much more secure and easier for people of all ages to get in and out. Here we have an outdoor kitchen as well. They recently added these standard uh, to the Grey Wolf line, as long as it's applicable on the floor plan. Here we have a compact refrigerator that we don't have to go in and out constantly for food and drinks. A portable ice maker. Great thing about this one, whenever you put water in, it constantly recycles the water until it's all gone, which is really great. You have one outdoor shower here with hot and cold water as well to keep your camper clean. Uh, we have a two burner propane cooktop. Great thing about this setup, it's a RBQ connection. So you can get a uh, $20 adapter if you want to and hook up any uh, propane grill using the RBQ connection down there. We also have a removable sink, which is the trend nowadays it seems. Here we have all your setup here for outdoor entertainment. So we have marine grade speakers with blue LED lights. So you don't have to worry about them deteriorating. Uh, the blue lights match the awning lights as well as the interior lights. Here we have power connections, audio visual connections. And the great thing is our mount that goes inside, you can just pull that off and bring your TV here as well. It's got a great size awning, plenty of coverage for those sunny days. We also have a black tank flush. So whenever it comes time to dump your black tank, what you have to do uh, is hook up a water hose here and the built-in nozzles clean tank out for you. If you don't have this, it's a few hundred dollars to add if you can add it. And if you don't have this, you have to get a water hose with a wand and stick it down the toilet. So this helps keep your hands clean. Here we have a secondary entrance to the bathroom from the outside. This is also pet friendly. So if you wanna bring your four-legged friends along, you can leash them here to keep them tucked nearby. Our camper does have four uh, stabilizer jacks on each corner. It's kind of crazy, but everything's an option on the camper. So ours does come with stabilizers. We do also have a rack on the back that's ready for 200 pounds. So if you want to strap down a generator or put ice just on here, you can do that. We also have a spare tire. I know it's crazy, but that is an option. Ours is included. Ours is also ready for a backup camera as well. So if you'd like to add one for safety, you certainly can do that. Backup cameras can save lives. We also have a bumper. So you can put your steer hose here to keep the inside of your camper cleaner. We also have underneath the bunk, this whole thing is storage underneath, which is great. Here we have the outside LED I was telling you about. Uh, so that way early in the morning, late at night, you can see what you're doing with all your connections without needing a flashlight. We also have a secondary outdoor shower. So you actually have two outdoor showers on this, which is really great when some campers have none. We also have a city water connection for pressurized water and a fresh water connection if you want to go off the grid and use that built-in pump I was telling you about inside. Here we have a 30 amp connection, which is a more common connection. So you won't really need any adapters or anything at most uh, sites. We have one dump here for the gray and the black tank, so that way you don't have to buy multiple hoses, they can add up. So it's just one hose, you'll have everything that you need that our parts department can help you out with. Here we have the slide. This one uses a Schwintech slide system, which is really great, very reliable, low maintenance. It's also ready for cable as well. So if you'd like to add cable, you can do that. Here we have the low point drain, another stabilizer, and this is our propane and electric water heater. Uh, great thing about this camper, it's only 7,800 pounds loaded. So, you know, most uh, most trucks won't have a problem at all pulling this, it's very lightweight. Uh, the empty weight on this one is only 6,200 as well. Uh, this is a 26 foot box, it's around 31 feet overall. Uh, it's just a really great camper, very affordable. We also have an electric jack on the front that we don't have to worry about hand cranking. You also have the LED light on the front too, so you can see what's going on early morning, late at night. In case of worst case scenario, it does have a manual override as well, uh, which is featured underneath that um, little gasket there. It does have two propane tanks. Great thing about our dealership is that we will wash it and detail it, do a full systems check, and our technicians will spend a good hour with you and show you how everything works with the AC on, so you won't be worrying about sweating on the inside of this camper during the hot Texas heat. Uh, you wanna make sure that your vehicle does have a seven-way plug. This communicates to your tow vehicle, your lights, your brakes, and if you have a direct line charge, it will charge your battery. Uh, this is a two and five sixteenths ball. Great thing is they started adding seven-way holders here. That way your seven-way can stay out of the uh, mud and the water and stuff like that. We do also have equalizer hitches available as well for $695 installed. We use a recurve R3, which is a great hitch. If not, you can just use a two and five sixteenths ball there. Here we have the front storage compartment as well. And that's about it. Okay guys, again, it's your amigo Nico over here at Cliff Jones RV in Sealy, Texas. We'd love to earn your business. We do have limited stock of these models available and everybody's getting campers right now. We have the best prices and the best service around. We'd love to earn your business. Give us a call, visit us online, chat with us, message us on Facebook. We'd love to meet you. Thanks so much.